So I have a very good uh, support from my RM and ARM on the times that I'm beginning to hear. So I hope because I just only work for uh, 38 days only on the that time. So I haven't experienced it totally. Okay. So uh, for the other participants, I'll be uh, calling you uh, on the other slides. So we will move to the uh, to the topic of the day, uh, which is how you delegate a task to your uh, team members and how you claim that you are accountable person and are you an accountable person or are you a responsible uh, person which has the difference of the two okay so let me ask you first uh, what you know about accountability so let's have mr uh, narayan or mr dambar of Silabicat. So what can you say about accountability? Sure, being responsible for the tax you are given, like uh, being taking all the responsibility of your restaurant to perform okay. the duty, what you're doing, like like focus on the customer service, like uh, what you promise for. Okay. And uh, also being responsible toward your staff, always uh, there to support them and uh, responsible for your company to to manage everything as on your uh like as on the as per the standards we have okay so thank you mr dambar and how about you uh, mr christian of odashi so what can you say about accountability and sir uh, this one yeah if you if for example if you give in a task to your uh, employee uh, i'm always double checking it after they do it to make sure that uh, they do it correctly and if not uh, you will show them how to do it properly to okay. make uh, to for them to feel that uh, you are there to support them to coach them and also to make sure that uh, they will do it properly the next time. Okay. So thank you, Mr. Christian. So let's hear from Mr. <laughs> Alex. What can you say yes. about accountability and responsibility? Okay, I'll say that accountability is uh, being in charge of, uh, of a given situation. Okay. And, and uh, responsibility is... Uh, is, is, is whereby you are, you, are, you are able to do certain job okay. or, or, or certain task, yes. Okay. How about you, Mr. Anthony? Thank you, Mr. Alex. What can you say about accountability, responsibility? <coughs> uh, accountability is I'm the one who is saying and the responsibility is about all the people, my workers. Okay, so that's good. So, team, responsibility and accountability are two different things. Okay. When we say accountable person, yes, Miss uh, Miss Jessel. Great morning, guys. So, if we say accountability. This one is not blaming each other, even though you make mistakes. The responsibility is the one you're tasked in your shift. For example, your opening shift. You need to perform the opening security procedures or performing the opening shift procedures. Like, uh, uh, check that all the uniforms of the employees are okay. Clock in, clock out. And also the cleanliness, hospitality, accuracy, and maintenance products and speed of service. That is your responsibility inside this one. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you for your sharing. Uh, yes, Ma'am Tintin. I want to share also, same like uh, Madam Giselle said, uh, accountability is uh, 
owning owning ship meaning uh owning a if ship. you have your ownership sir ah, owner, if you have a ownership. if you have yeah if you have a work or if you empower the your subordinate you must be trust them but uh you give the full trust but the uh the consequence there is if they did a mistake about that you 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 should be willing to shoulder all all of that one then responsibility for me sir is uh this one is same like uh, duties and responsibilities that you are doing only what you are what what is your duties okay for me that is the the difference so between uh, the accountability the and explanation yes uh, thank you yeah. Tintin. yes ma'am sure. can i share sir <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just want, as in my understanding also, I will okay. just uh, share it, sir, maybe. <laughs> for me, sir, uh, responsibility and accountability. For responsibility is different. The difference this, between the two is the responsibility is, this is that you, it can be shared. <clears throat> you can share it. But being accountability cannot. Because the mm -hmm. responsibility, like you are, responsible on the restaurant you can do anything but you can distribute this responsibility to your colleague but being accountability is on yourself how you will be unswearable to your action okay and also at the same time is on how you will be uh act if there is something error on the task that they given to you and how you will be accept this is wow. what <laughs> I'm very oh, happy I'm today uh, because, uh, see, the word is very simple, uh, but yeah. majority of the participants are able to uh, uh, to share uh, what's the understanding that you have. And then yeah. you're making my life easy in the room. So you're the one who's uh, facilitating the training. So I need yeah. more. Uh, Can I answer, Mama, sir? Uh, Mama Donna? Yes, sir. Um, uh, about uh, about responsibility because in one store, all of us have a responsibility. Okay. But about the accountability, same. Uh, you are the owner of this company, mm -hmm. so everything you will uh, you will take by yourself. No need to uh, blaming or uh, um, make it uh, telling kaliwali. Because you will own everything. Same, uh, you have your uh, business. You are the owner. And uh, the staff is the one uh, responsibility to grow your business. Okay. That's all, sir. So thank you for sharing. Yes, sir, Alan. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, the responsibility and accountability is different. The responsibility responsibility is uh, we can delegate our tasks to other people, and whatever uh, and whatever outcomes this one, it is your accountability. Uh, the output uh, you must you must be own what is the what is the level good or bad this one. If you delegate the task to other people, that means that means. What, uh, the one you delegate the people, that means his accountability. No. You're giving the responsibility to do the work. But the otherwise, the accountability is your, is, your, uh, is, is your own hands. That means, that means, whatever outcomes, good or bad, this is your own, uh, the ownership. That's why uh, uh, Mabadona told, don't blame each other like this. Uh, uh, that's it. Okay. So thank you for sharing, Mr. Alan. Yes, Mr. April. Sir, for me, these two words are just simple. Responsibilities is that task assigned to you, assigned task to you. For anyone, you will be staff, RS, ARM, or RM. These are the tasks assigned to you. And then accountability is you being responsible about the task that is given to you, not having to 
be blaming about each other. This is you being responsible about the task that assigned to you. So for me, that's the different zone. Just two simple words. Okay. So like what others saying, it will always go to the uh, to the root of uh, your objectives. Okay. So accountability is the only one. Okay. Which is you, myself. Okay, for everything, let's say if you are a supervisor or the shift manager, the shift is yours, only for you as the, as the shift manager. Whatever happens in that shift, you are the accountable person for that. Then, to make our life easy, so we are delegating tasks, okay, to make our life easy. So if you chose one key crew, let's say in order for you to uh, to be to to spend your time, let's say you have reports to finish, okay? Because this is also one of your responsibility to send reports to your area manager. So this time, one of your tasks, which is let's say operations checklist, you delegate it to your key crew. If the key crew did his best to do that so you're lucky delegating the task to a right person okay but the problem is if you delegate your task to the team member who's not ready to deliver your expectation then you are the one who will shoulder the consequences whatever results he or she will produce to your shift. So meaning to say, whatever results, it is you who will be uh, answering or, uh, or accepting whatever consequences for that action. Okay, so now on the slides, are you seeing guys the slide? Yes. yes. Okay. So here is the slide. So let's say the area manager objective is taken from the top management, which is the management wants profit. Okay. So to generate profit, the management gave business KPI. So which is the key performance indicator of your business. So everyone will be working on this objective. So let's say PNL results, so it means you need to gain profit. Then you have the QC rating, you have the RTA, you have your people to manage so that they will be telling that they are very happy working with, with you in the restaurant. So now the area manager has uh, numbers of restaurant manager because let's say if, we, if he has eight restaurants to, to handle so there are eight restaurant managers reporting to the area manager so the area manager will give the same business KPI to the RM okay so the restaurant manager has its own responsibility and the area manager has its own responsibility based on their job description but the main core of the responsibility is to deliver this business KPI, okay? So the, uh, the restaurant manager has assistant and restaurant supervisor, okay? So the assistant manager has its own responsibility as ARM. The same thing for the restaurant supervisor. So everyone has its own responsibility to deliver this is your job to deliver and then this is the kd money that you're receiving at the end of the month after delivering your or the execution of your job as an arm or as an rm or as a supervisor then the same thing there are several number of crews uh, reporting to you so let's say we have the front of the house and we have the back of the house Okay, here's 
here. Everyone in the structure, RM reports to area manager, and then the area manager reports to the vice president or the CEO of the company. CEO does not come to your position to ask what's happening, okay? So the, the restaurant manager is the one directly coming to you as his ARM or to supervisor, okay? The, the top management or the CEO doesn't come to ARM and asking uh, why the food cost is very high. So the area manager has to explain to the CEO what's going on in his restaurant. And the restaurant manager is the one who will answer to the area manager. So there's one person only accountable. So for the ship manager, either ARM or the RS, either one of the, you is the responsible to uh to the to the ship so you're the one who's managing and you are the one who will answer not the crew so now you are accountable in front of your rm but in front of the area manager you are not the one accountable for what happened to your restaurant this is the restaurant manager who is the one accountable for what happened in your restaurant so, meaning to say, every person works in the restaurant has their own responsibility. If you are a crew, so you have to deliver the work of a crew based on your job description. Okay? So, let's say if you want to be developed, that's why IDP is here. If the back of the house or the supervisor is not performing, so the manager has to evaluate if he or she is doing his job based on your job description based on your responsibility as a service crew or a supervisor or as an assistant manager that's why you are accountable for your own okay so the idp will work let's say if miss madonna wants to be on the next level position the restaurant manager will delegate mom madonna to do certain tasks of a restaurant manager, okay? So let's say the restaurant manager will talk to Miss Madonna and Miss Madonna, you will be responsible now to the cost of sale, okay? Currently, our cost of sales is 34%. So we are aiming this month to reduce it by 2% at least, okay? So now Miss Madonna will do her best to make it happen. Because at this point, she is accountable for that piece, for that cost of sales. So now, she will be looking at her back, who are my team members to support me on this? So this time, she will own the process. She will own everything. The restaurant manager will not interfere much with Miss Madonna, okay? Because when you empower, let's say if you are working with a restaurant manager, they gave you a particular task or they delegate you a task. It is wrong if all the time your restaurant manager is at your back. It means, what does it mean if your restaurant manager is always at your back, Mr. Russell? It means, sir, uh, they didn't believe in your ability. Okay, so it means your, uh, they don't trust. They yes, don't believe sir. in your ability. It means yes. he's afraid for you to fail, okay? So if you have that kind of manager, you will not grow, okay? The same thing if you will be, let's say, entrusting or delegating one of your tasks, let's say operations checklist that you will give to your, uh, to your uh, key crew, okay? Or you will give a certain activity, like let's say for training, and then you keep on, uh, uh, you keep on asking, how is it? Uh, it's done then like this, as in like your panic. So it means your team member will not be able to think and decide for his own. Okay. So if you are empowering or if you are delegating a certain task, there's a risk that you should know. It's either it will be a failure or Lucky enough, if it will be 
contributing to your success or to the success of your ship. Okay? So I will repeat again. Accountability is for one person, which is you, who will own A to Z. Whatever it is, whatever the task, either you, you delegate or you assign someone to complete it for you, at the end of the day, I don't care what they have done. What I care is to see that it happened, that you will deliver me 100% uh, result, okay? So I am not interested to, uh, to know what happened. So that's why we don't ask why. If you are practicing accountability, big no to, uh, to question your employee by why. Why you did not do this, okay? Uh, what, what's going on? Why, why it's not uh, executed properly? Why it's wrong? So we never ask why. If you are an accountable person, you have to accept whatever in front of you. If it's good, then you're lucky. If it's not, shoulder the consequences and take an immediate action by you. Okay? So let's say if the restaurant manager walks into your shift, and then there's a customer complaint because it was, uh, it was wrongly made by your team member, you should not answer your restaurant manager that it's because of that GA. Because in that case, you are incompetent a shift manager and I don't work with incompetent uh, shift manager. What I will appreciate to hear from you is, I'll take the, consequences of having that and I will fix it uh, myself now right now uh, Ricky I will fix it no blaming there should be no name to present okay if it's being asked it's okay but it is not you who will expose uh, whatever happens so when you point a finger to anyone it means you are incompetent uh, manager in front of your people and in front of training department. And like what I'm saying, you have to stop it uh, blaming other people. You have to be accountable. You are the shift manager, you should know it. If there's expired product found in the workstation of your team member, it is not your team member who should receive letter of warning. And then some of the managers are endorsing the name shame on these people when you are endorsing the name of your team member it is your name who were supposed to be endorsed first in that case it is my responsibility and it's my uh i will own the consequences of having expired product in my ship then my respect is very big on that person but if you point a finger to your team member shame on you you are too selfish and then it's really risky to work with this kind of manager, okay? Because you are the one who has to answer everything, whatever happens in your store. If you don't know, then it is your biggest mistake in your uh, shift that uh, it's wrong. It's the biggest mistake also for us to, to put you in that location, having such kind of thing. So meaning to say accountability, is owning uh, everything in the shift. So it means it is you. You will not look for others to be accountable for, for this chaos in the shift. If it's a failed shift, it is you who has to blame. Okay? And then for the uh, responsibility, it is based on the job that you are paying for your team, the same thing that being paid for us. So the company is paying for us to deliver perfectly our responsibility, 100% for the payment, 100%. If you're paying your team member to be responsible to deliver great service and food out of, yours, uh, up, out of their workstation, 100% for the payment of 100 KD. Why it happened that the 85% only of the customers are happy? So by then, they are not doing their job. They are not delivering their responsibility perfectly. So by then, I need to get 15% out from their salary. And what you got, 
whenever you are asking why for a person, Mr. Upindra, when you ask a person or when you ask a team member, uh, why you gave the wrong product, what you got? Yes, sir. When you ask your team member, why there's a mistake? Why, why is it happening like this? What you got from your team member? Uh, I when think you question this is them not why. Uh, we cannot uh, ask the questions so why because no this is the question our... they are asking why what they've got maybe not you but they yeah okay i heard last time mom isel asked why what did you get uh, mom isel when you ask them why they will ask uh, various types of answer like some maybe one is story making like this so we'll make only stories sir only stories we'll get excuses stories, stories excuses. excuses so meaning to say you are the one who's making it happen so you are the one who's paying those excuses and paying those reasons and not their action to be responsible enough to deliver that expectation so we don't recommend for you to ask why Supposedly, you have to ask them, what is your plan to avoid repeating that mistake again? Tomorrow, what is your plan? Okay, so the first question that you have to ask is, what is your plan to correct this? How are you going to correct this? How are you going to avoid it? So those are the things that you need to ask, not why. On that specific time. So let's say your team member did not finish the prep time now is 4 p.m and then 70 percent still not done so you have to ask uh buddy time now is 4 15 i'm afraid our our prep is 70 percent not yet done so you have to make it clear uh what time you're gonna finish this i'm afraid we have to leave it completely done okay so what will be your plan uh, Ricky, is it okay if I will excuse myself in the workstation and then let uh, let uh, Opendra to, to manage all the stations? Anyway, it's not busy right now. Okay, okay, okay. Go. But if you are the ship manager, time now is 5 o'clock. You clock out and then you say bye-bye because the bus is in front of the restaurant. Then boom, the restaurant manager now is calling. Why the prep? Mommy cell not yet finished. So what mommy cell will be giving? Ah, because we are like this, so it's stories. Where are you at this time hearing those stories? She's in the bus together with the staff who supposedly to finish the task. So that's totally wrong, okay? So that's how you will increase the level of accountability for everyone. If you chose to delegate, it means it has to be uh, answered by this way, simple. So in order for you to make yourself accountable and responsible for the results, by the way, we can be responsible and accountable at the same time. Imagine if you have, if you are the ship supervisor in the morning and then you have three crews, you make them accountable and at the same time responsible, there will be a very productive and excellent shift managed by you. But let's say if the closing manager who's happened that he is uh, ARM, he has the same numbers of crew, three, but the problem is he is not helping the guys to be uh, responsible at the same time accountable for their actions then it, it will be uh, there will be a problem that will occur during the time that he or she is managing the shift so that's why when you want to make yourself accountable simple ac action that you need to do if you want your assistant or your key crew to be accountable and responsible for results so you need to apply this method. So what is simple again, uh, Mr. Kishore? 
What do you mean by simple? Uh, simple is a set instruction. Uh, okay. And invite commitments. Okay, so invite commitments. What is M, uh, Mamari? Measurable progress. Mamari, what is M in simple? Specific, sir. Uh, M. Uh, measures progress. Measure Measuring progress. Measures Measure progress, sir. And then L. Link of consequences. So link, link to consequences. consequences. Link to consequences. <coughs> evaluate evaluate effectiveness. Okay, evaluate effectiveness. Okay, so take for example. Evaluate. If you want to make yourself accountable, okay, you have to set expectation for yourself. And then when you invite yourself that, oh, okay, I want to make it. Let's say you want to be an ARM. So in that ARM position, there are many, many points that you can uh, focus at. So choose from that. And then you have to invite yourself to commit for that. In order to motivate yourself to answer, yes, I want to have it. So you have to link it to consequences. Okay. So meaning to say, what is my benefit if I will do that? So obviously, you will be enhancing your skills to be capable to handle an ARM position. So that's your benefit. Uh, how about if I will not do that? So you will remain one year, two years stagnant in your current position as a supervisor. So you have to be very clear with yourself, even to yourself, in order for you to be accountable for your action. Then how you will measure your progress. So set a criteria. So let's say if you are aiming to, uh, to handle RTA, so you will tell to your restaurant manager that, uh, Ricky, I want to, uh, if it's possible, uh, I am very open. If you will delegate a certain task for me, for the KPI, so I will take uh, the RTA. Okay, so you will be discussing how you will measure the progress, so let's say uh, the RTA, the minimum for this month from the 80 uh, rating, okay, I will set a target 85. Next month, it will be uh, 90, okay? And then we maintain, and then we never had the chance to below uh, 90. Then you have a measuring uh, measurement of progress because you set a criteria, okay? So when you are doing it for yourself, so for sure, there will be a feedback that you will be getting from yourself. You should appreciate yourself telling that, oh, I'm super great, super duper. You will be hearing also comments from your manager or from your uh, area manager that you've done well. You will be hearing messages also from uh, the, our, the uh, training team. So meaning to say, feedback is very important. Then E is the same thing that you link to the progress because there's an evaluation that taking place. So like say the RTA audit or the sales, it will, it will boom, the sales will boom because why? You have a happy team who works with you in the shift. So simple method, setting expectations, inviting to commitment. So you have to be very clear with the commitment so that your team will commit if you want to make them accountable and responsible then you have to set a criteria for them, okay? And provide feedback, either positive or constructive, and then link the consequences. What will happen if they will do? What will happen if they will don't, okay? So evaluate effectiveness. So it means there must be uh, a solid uh, form or checklist for you to be able to know if they are progressing or not, okay? So that's how you will make the people accountable and responsible at the same time. Here, in an IDP, Individual Development Plan, so you are here, RS, okay? And then you are aiming to be Assistant RM. And this is the RM. 
in the slides, you can see that there are, let's say, six tasks for the RM, which needs to be delegated. Let's say I want to delegate task number three, which is RTA to the RS. Are you seeing the screen, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. So yes, let's sir. say the RTA is task number three. Okay. Let's say the cost of sales will be delegated to sir. Yes, sir. assistant manager, the task number two, which is, let's say, food cost. Okay. And then uh, task number one is, let's say, for follow up on training files. Okay, so it was delegated to the supervisor. So now task number two, task number three, task number one was delegated by the RM. Okay, so it means it's a functionality of the RM. Okay, he or she will train you to do this task number one, three, and two. Okay, this is we call IDP. You are delegating to your uh, potential uh, ARM uh, to do the task of an RM. So let's say if you are a restaurant supervisor this time, you have to delegate also your task to your crew. Let's say here. So let's say you are a supervisor. You may delegate to your service crew either line check. So let's say line check is for task number one. So you give it to one of your crew. And then a food safety checklist. So let's say you give it to the other staff. Okay, so now you will be doing three, four, five, but one of your key crew will do the number one, and then one of your key crew will do the number two. But when you delegate the task, you have to be ready. Will your team member deliver it perfectly? Okay, so let's say you allocate uh, them for uh, doing the food safety checklist. And then it happened after that, the QC came, one expired product found cooler. Then you cannot say, ah, oh, he is the one who checked it. It cannot be this time. So you're the one who will shoulder the consequence. Otherwise, don't delegate us. If you don't trust your people, don't mm -hmm. delegate. But you will be feeling stress and you will shoulder the consequences 